Hey, what's going on guys? John Shea here. And in this video, I'm going to be covering the rank tracker tool, which is part of the SEO power suite um, series of SEO tools. So I'm, I'm actually going to be doing other videos on some of the other tools, uh, the website auditor, the SEO spyglass and the link assistant. So depending on where you're watching this, whether or not it's on this specific page or on YouTube, be sure to check out those videos as well. In this one, I'm just going to in depth sort of cover the rank tracking tool. But first, I wanted to walk you through the landing page and just kind of show you what some of the features are. Um, pretty much, this is a um, desktop based application where you have the capability of going through and tracking rankings for um, any of the websites you decide to put in. So if you want to do this for your own websites, for your clients websites, uh, it's a really good rank tracking tool and you pretty much have unlimited everything. So if you know, you know about a lot of these rank tracking tools that are out there, most of them charge you like monthly rates. Um, you have to, you know, consistently be paying something every month and, you know, for some of the free ones that are out there, they can be very limiting. So this is a really great solution. I would say one of the only real disadvantages is that it's all desktop based. Now, in my case, I decided to set up a virtual private server that really doesn't cost me all that much a month. It's under $10 a month. And I basically just run my SEO power suite software there. So if I were ever traveling with a laptop, I could go in and actually, um, you know, check my rankings at any time, anywhere on the internet. So um, they give you the capability of doing like geo specific rankings. So this is really good for local SEO. Um, huge, in fact, if you're going to be doing anything with local and you're helping local clients and you want to check in that specific area, you're going to be able to do that. They have um, a various number of different like keyword research methods that you can incorporate into the tool. You can see here they've got like uh, Google AdWords, the uh, Google autocomplete related searches, Bing, Yahoo, um, and then you can even tie in things like Google Search Console and Google Analytics to get even more data. So that's all done right inside the software and very easily integrated. They give you a keyword analysis so you can kind of get an idea of how difficult the keywords would be to rank for. Um, you can look at the strengths and weaknesses of your top 10 competitors and really just kind of dig in. So it's sort of a combination rank, um, rank analysis tool as well as a keyword research tool. And you even have the capability of doing the custom ranking reports. So if you wanted to send it to a client, um, have that white labeled, you have the capability to do that. So let's dive in and I'll show you the tool. I actually just ran a report here against one of my sites. Um, let's see if we can get this to come back. I don't know if it actually finished, but basically the idea of this would be you go to file new project. And again, um, with any of the SEO power suite tools, you can, um, put stuff up on Dropbox. They have something called the SEO Power Suite Cloud, and you've got the capability of saving projects and exporting if you're using the enterprise version. So you could export to PDF, things like that. So what I did is I threw in one of my websites. I have a niche site called skullclothing.net. Um, it basically sells products and clothing that has like skulls on them, anything with like skulls. So I have a site in that niche and I threw in um, a ranking here, but I don't know if it takes some time, might take some time to come back. But the idea, let me see here, if I do check rankings, we'll let this guy run, it shouldn't take too long because I only threw in one keyword. And this should come back and it'll find any ranking pages. I don't know why this actually isn't coming back. I'm pretty sure that's ranking, but the idea would be you could sort of get a comparison of anything. In fact, I have another project in here. Let's just bring that up and I'll show you. Here's another site that I was testing. Um, this one already had some filled in data. So let's use this as an example. So for something like kitten teething toys, you can see the Google rank is number one, Yahoo number two, Bing number two. And then it shows you the specific ranking page, the percentage of visibility, and you could see progress charts over time. Um, you know, if I were to update this, I could then see like a bar graph. You can do other things like looking at analysis of um, what's going on with the keyword. You can check visibility. Um, get an idea of like organic traffic, the keyword difficulty. And again, the tabs at the top, you have other things like ranking progress, like, you know, how, how much has it progressed from the time maybe you entered it into the software, different details that you can pick up, uh, keywords that are in the top 10 of the keywords that you provide to them and not provided traffic. This would be something that probably comes out of um, Google search console. You've also got a summary so you can break this down. Um, you can see like I have like an overall summary of everything that's going on based on the four keywords I gave them. So again, if I was loading this up with like 100 keywords, I could really uh, deep dive into this. You can also look at competitors. Um, there's a keyword map. Let's take a look at that. 
You could actually bring in some other stuff like look at number of searches, the difficulty. You can do some PPC analysis. So this is really where the, some of the research stuff starts to come in. And then you also have this keyword research. So um, let's just say I add a keyword. We'll do something like cat training since we're using that as a niche here. And we're gonna come back and we'll be able to get some ideas of um, potential keywords. Uh, if you wanna use the Google Keyword Planner, let's see, so. I'll just throw in my credentials here. And I believe they made some changes to the Google Keyword Planner, so I don't know if this is actually still gonna be as effective as it would have been maybe months ago. Um, they made it so you have to have paid campaigns running in the background, so that's something that um, can be somewhat problematic now with some of these tools. So I don't know if this will come back and actually do anything as it's supposed to, but I may need to update the, the software and actually get this going for the keyword planner to work through AdWords is what I'm thinking, or possibly have a running ad campaign, which I do, but only currently on YouTube. So I don't know if that counts. I think it has to be an AdWords um, like keyword campaign to be running to use their keyword tool. Oh no, I think it is going. Give it, give it a second here. So it came back and it gave me, you know, expected visits. If I were to rank that 21,000, the number of searches, 10 to 100,000, 55,000 searches. And then you could do like a PPC analysis, $1.30 per click, expected ad clicks, estimated cost per month, $5,000. So pretty cool stuff. You can do some keyword research. You can add other keywords. Um, you could sort of organize all this and save your data. And then you have the domain strength for the particular domain. This is similar to what you get out of the website auditor tool. And if I go to reports, I can even um, bring my keyword ranking reports um, into a customized view here. So you have all these different reports. You could see here, like this is a main one I have um, that just kind of brings everything down. And you could see like what search engines they're ranking in and then the actual rankings. And I could do a quick save and save it as a PDF if I wanted to. I could also white label this, add in my own logo. So let me give you an example. If I go to keyword rankings, I have all these different metrics on the left sidebar I could change. So maybe I don't want to display like certain things, I could take that away. If I wanted to add in a logo, I could do that. So here I could put in a description, I could add a company logo. So I have all these capabilities of just customizing everything. I could completely remove a section. Maybe I don't want this, I could delete this widget. Um, so you have lots of custom customization options here for your reporting. Um, again, you can export to Dropbox, so that'll be really something that maybe if you're going to be doing this, you know, and you're working with a client, you just hook them up with the Dropbox um, shared folder, and that would be a really good way to kind of um, set this up on autopilot. You know, you go in, you check the rankings, update everything, and you know that gets exported into a Dropbox. That would be the way that I would do it. I'm currently not using this as my main tool, but it is something that's extremely awesome because of the fact that you have unlimited capabilities. Again, um, SEO Power Suite does have the capability of doing a subscription to get um, what they call algorithm updates, but it's not required. As you can see, I'm able to go through the software and do pretty much anything I need to do, and I don't have a subscription. I haven't had one for over 160 days. Um, the biggest thing that you'd want to keep in mind is that if you don't get the enterprise version, you're not going to be able to export your reports. So if you're working with clients, it's really going to limit your capabilities and what you can do with this piece of software. Um, again, thanks for watching this and I hope this video is helpful.